Hi, my name is Jenny, owner of and maker here at First Trip. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm so excited um, to be doing this. I'm sorry about my voice. I'm fighting a cold, but I just wanted to get this done and put this out there. Um, right here, I am making a cherry cu cupcake soap. Um, this soap was uh, was really stressful, very stressful soap. A lot of disaster from the get-go and um, I decided to put this out there so everyone um, can see that the process of soap making sometimes can be challenging and doesn't go the way you plan it's very very important to see the ugly soaps as well as the really pretty soaps because um, making the ugly soaps and going through the process of it really gives you the appreciation of um, those soaps that go well what you're seeing happening here is I had mixed my um, oils together, um, my soft oils and my melted hard oils um, together and I am pouring in the light solution. Um, you'd see that I have a lot of bubbles in my uh, batter and that's absolutely what you don't want. Like I said, this, this soap was a disaster from the get-go. Um, the stick blender uh, was the issue. And this is about the last time I will be using the stick blender. Right here I am using a mini hand mixer to help um, push this along. This was a really small uh, batch. So I didn't want to stick blend too long. And the stick blender was causing a lot of bubbles. And I really did not appreciate that. Um, Alright, so a little chit chat. Uh, so you can know a little bit more about me. I own Frizz Drip and I do have um, social media channels. I have Facebook, uh, Instagram, where you can find me at, using my handle Frizz Drip. I also have a website where you can find my products, which is frizzdrip.com. Please go there and take a look at what I have and see if something interests you. I really appreciate the small business support. Um, also, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, um, I'll really appreciate that. Uh, I'll have to say that um, due to, you know, life circumstances, I am not as active as I would love to be on my social media channels. However, I am very interactive. If you interact with me, I will interact um, immediately with you. Um, and I'm looking to be more, more present in my social media forums. So what you saw me put in right there was my fragrance oil mixed with Kaolin clay. Um, I usually don't do that. Uh, they say if you mix your fragrance oil with Kaolin clay, it helps anchor the, the, the fragrance. I haven't really had problems with my fragrances lasting. They always last. Um, I think I've just had one soap where it faded. Um, so I decided to try it with this batch. This is a really, really, really small batch. It's like um, 700 grams. So it's a really small batch. So, you know, I'm happy a fail happened in a small batch. So there you have it. Um, I will have to say that the process of soap making is very, very, very intriguing, very um, satisfying for me. And um, you can hop over to my website and see the products that I have. Okay, back to the video. I split my batch into two primary batches and now I'm splitting it into another two secondary batches, so making it four, four splits. Um, Given this is a cherry um, fragrance, I decided to use red and white. The red did not um, end up being as I as I would have hoped and liked. It wasn't ended up not being as vibrant. Uh, I should have added a uh, a little bit more uh, mica to make it a little bit more vibrant, but you know. It is what it ended up being. That was just about the list of my problems with, with this with this particular batch. So I'm doing just a tiny bit in the pot swirl. Um, about to pour. So this fragrance, uh, this batter actually did move quite slow. Um, and 
it probably must have been maybe I didn't I didn't stick blame that long, which is nice. Or it could have been a fragrance oil. Um, this was the first time I used this particular fragrance oil, so I have to test it out again when all all is well with me in the soaping world. Uh, but this batter did move really slow, so my woes really did start from the beginning. But after the pour, everything just started going downhill. It just started going downhill from here. And um, first off, my batter was not enough, as you could have seen. Um, I only had five pours instead of six. Um, my batter started moving really slow because this was supposed to be the frosting dip. And um, it just wasn't firming up. Um, which, on a normal day, I would love. I would absolutely love that because I've had designs that I wanted to do and needed a really fluid batter and it was just firming up quicker than I wanted and right here I had this was about an hour and a half and it still wasn't thick and I was like maybe it's thick enough let me try to pipe one side one part of me as I was pouring this right here one part of me was like mm, girl this is not ready. The other part was, it's 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 going to be fine. And the other part was like, girl, you're going to regret it. And the other part, part of me was like, shut up and let me do my thing. So, you know, I was like, okay. You know, I poured it. The white was a little bit thicker. The red was just a little bit runnier. I knew in my heart of hearts. And my inner heart's heart just knew that this was not going to work. But I was brave. I was positive that this would be, this would go good. It was already um, late in the night and baby was asleep and I needed my time um, to just have a, uh, the rest of my evening. So this was where everything started going wrong with the pipe in. Right here, it started to leak out the side and I'm like, Okay, normally I should have just left, let it sit, right? Right? Mm -mm, wrong. <laughs> I decided to put it in my piping bag and it just started dripping, dripping out the sides. And I'm like, holy freaking smokes, girl. I knew this was going to happen. Holy freaking smokes. I knew this was going to happen. Mm -mm -mm. I'm like, okay, I still had faith. The initial plan for my piping was you know how you have the um, red and white two two different color swirls in an icing and or frosting that is actually what i was going for but after this right here i'm like a gun with the wind girl gun with the wind all that just went out the door i took it off the saloon wrap uh the sun wrap when I put it in the piping bag and just let it just, you know, swirl together. This was absolutely not what I wanted because I already had this um, in the cupcake. And this wasn't the plan. This wasn't the dream. <laughs> and then I was like, should I just let this sit? I'm like, mm, just pipe it. It'll probably work. This is not my first time piping soap. So I know this is not going to work. And then I did it. And it just started spreading, and I was getting mad, right? It was just, it was, it was a hot mess, and I just had to scoop the damn thing out. I just scooped the damn thing out. I was tired. I was frustrated. Mind you, it didn't take me long to make the soap initially. It didn't take me any time at all. Um, but the frosting bit. If I was pissed off, I was really mad at this point. I wasn't having it. And I'm like, I was just, just about to just, you know, call it a night. Just let the soap be what it is. And um, just scrap everything. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to see it through, make a video out of it. And, um, you know, it's not always a success um, for every batch. But... Of course, you want your success rate to be more than your fails. However, you're going to have fails. Um, so I scraped it all out and, you know, threw it in the piping bag. 
let it sit for I believe it was another 45 minutes ish um, I decided to come back after that to see if it was ready to pipe so <laughs> this was a very frustrating batch a lot of sweat uh, a lot of near tears and a lot of emotions went into just making this five cupcakes um, these are the things that happened so at this point I thought it was firm enough honestly I could have given it another maybe 20 minutes to get just a tad bit firmer and um, but I was done I was like so done and stuff just kept going wrong and wrong and wrong and right here I still didn't have enough batter to like frost the last cake and I'm like whatever whatever I'm just gonna push you out you're gonna look the way you're gonna look and we're gonna try to pretty you up and she, you know stuff just kept going wrong right here again right this is the point the brush decided to break on me right into a cupcake when I was trying to make an ugly thing pretty it decided to get even ugly I'm like mm, cake I have more ugly to fix and um, you're just not you're gonna not be one of them so basically that makes everything okay right well I guess we can say that for this soap too <laughs> I glued it up make made it look a little bit presentable which you know it's a freaking ugly soap but it's a uh, it, it's got sparkles so it's cute that way it's cute in its ugly way right um, this was not the vision this is absolutely actually the ugliest soap I've ever made <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is how it turned out um, again the next day after 24 hours I came to unmold and trying to unmold it everything just toppled over uh, and uh, it ended up, you know, coming out really good out of the silicone mold. This silicone mold isn't just a regular cupcake silicone mold you can get from Amazon or your local baking store. Um, the cake, uh, no, the cake, the soap was, um, ended up looking duller than I wanted because um the colors first off it did not gel there wasn't enough volume and of course it wasn't in a wooden mold and i just did not take measures to insulate it uh when i had looked at it the morning after that's when it occurred to me like i should have thrown this in the oven to see pop it to help with it having brighter colors uh, but i didn't think about it until the morning after um, it kind of looks a little dull, not very vibrant, a little pastel. It's of which there's nothing wrong with that type of coloring, but it just wasn't what I was going for. And maybe uh, it going through gel would have actually helped with um, the color darkening and brightening um, a little bit. But I get what I get, and this is what I got. That was the journey of this of this soap. Anyway, this is what it ended up uh, looking like and being. Um, I will really appreciate if you can um, support my channel, follow me on social media, check out my website, and um, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.